Welcome to our fourth video on our series on pip counting. We will be introducing two new techniques into our toolbox of tricks. Uh, both of them are variations on what we've already learned and they're going to be fairly easy. Uh, we'll also be introducing shifting in this video, uh, which is for some people a little tricky at first, uh, but it's extremely powerful when you start to apply it. It simplifies a lot of things and it's one of my favorite tools. Uh, everything in this video will pick up right where we left off from the first three videos. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you watch the first three videos. Uh, give them a little practice so you get full value out of this video. First of our new tools addresses the counting of nine checkers. We're familiar with counting 10 checkers and the counting of 11 checkers or 12 checkers is simply the counting of 10 checkers plus adding in the extra pips. When we're counting nine checkers, we are simply using the exact same technique, but subtracting instead of adding. Here are 12 quick examples to demonstrate. Our first example, here's our nine checkers. Here's the formation we're familiar with, 40. So this is simply 40, missing five is 35. Next example, Nine checkers, here's our known formation, 40, missing two, 38. Next example, here's the formation we are familiar with, our missing checker, 30, missing four, is 26. Next example, here's our nine checkers, here's our known formation and our missing checker, 55, missing four, is 51. Next example, nine checkers, our known formation, 25, missing three, 22. Next example, our known formation, our missing checker, 45, missing six, is 39. Next example, here's our known formation, our missing checker, 50, missing five is 45. Next example, here's our known formation and our missing checker, 20, missing one is 19. Next example, here's our known formation, here's our missing checker, 50, missing three is 47. Next example, here's our known formation, our missing checker, 50, missing five is 45. Next example, here's our known formation and our missing checker, 20, missing one is 19. Our last example for missing checker, here's our known formation, here's our missing checker, 40, missing five is 35. Next, we will look at shifted checkers and shifting checkers. Think of shifted checkers as if someone has moved one or more of your checkers from one of your known formations. Shifting checkers is different. It's where we purposefully move two or four checkers to create easier to count formations without changing the pip count, which is a really handy tool. We will do a few examples of each, followed by a short quiz, which will cover all the new concepts introduced in this new video. The next video, which would be our fifth video in our video series on pip counting, will not introduce any new concepts, just some tips that I found have worked for me. But that video will be primarily an extended practice video that will combine all that we've learned so far. So let's start with shifting checkers. One thing to note that in these examples, I will be moving checkers on the board. And that's something you really don't wanna do when you're playing live. Uh, you can move checkers up, 50, 6, to help visualize counts, but you really don't want to be moving checkers to new points. So, let's get started. So this is our first example for shifted checkers. We can see that this is our known formation, but this checker is on the one point. We simply look at this as 5 less than 50. So this is 5 less than 50. 45. 
in our next example, we have the checkers we'd like to count. We have our known formation. This is simply 3 more than 50, 53. Our next example, our checkers we'd like to count. What we recognize is our known formation, 30. So this is simply 4 more than 30, 34. Our next example, our checkers we'd like to count, our known formation. So this is simply two more than 50, 52. Our next example, this is the checkers we would like to count. This is our known formation, 45. So this is simply two less than 45 or 43. Our last example for shifted checkers these are the checkers we'd like to count. This is a formation we're familiar with, 40. So this is simply three less than 40 or 37. Next, we'll look at shifting checkers, which is one of the most useful techniques to simplify pip counting. And the concept behind shifting checkers is this. Here we have a simple count. Two checkers on the five point is 10 pips. If I add one and subtract one, it's still 10 pips. Nothing has changed. What if I add 2, subtract 2? Pip count is still 10. We can do this with any number and any of number of checkers. So for example, in this case, 25 pips. We can add 1, subtract 1. It's still 25 pips. We can add 4, subtract 4 it's still 25 pips. So with a few examples, I'll demonstrate just how we use this to tie in these, mo these movements into formations that we already know. And just as a reminder, these moving of checkers, this is only for demonstration. You shouldn't be moving checkers like this when you're counting pips on the board. But with a little bit of practice, even though this for some people is a little challenging, uh, you'll find this isn't really that hard. It just takes a little bit of time. So our first shifting example these are the checkers we'd like to count. We can add one, subtract one, and we get a very simple formation that we already know, 40. Our next example of shifting, here we have a count. It doesn't really look like anything we know, but if we add one, subtract one, it simplifies. Pip count is 30. No need to count anything here. Our next example, if we subtract one, add one from our formation, 50, super easy. And there's another way of doing it. We can add one, subtract one, we got our triangle, 50, no counting needed. In our next example, we're gonna use the zero point. So this is six, five, four, three, two, one, zero which we can use. If I add one, subtract one, the pip count is 30. Super easy. The real trick is just to see a formation that you're after before moving the checkers. And we're not doing it physically, we're doing it just in our mind. We could slide these up, try to visualize, help visualize it that way. But look how simplified this becomes. Add one, Subtract one to zero, 30. In our next example, these are the pips we need to count. Kind of close to something we know. If I add two, subtract two, 45. Add two, subtract two, 45. In our last example on shifting, these are our checkers. We can add two, subtract two, 50. Another way of doing this is adding one, subtracting one, 50. 